Here's a little project that anyone can do. And it's aimed at the complete novice that just likes to have a little fiddle around with electronics simply and cheaply. You can make this or something very similar. At this time of the year, Christmas lights and decorations are readily available. And these little sets, these have 20 LEDs. This particular set is warm white, but they're also available in daylight. And for a few more dollars, you can get them in multi-colors. Now, the problem with them is that they're designed to run on batteries, i.e. here. And it takes two AA cells, which, to be honest, have a relatively short lifespan. So you're everlastingly playing about replacing the batteries. And the idea of this little project is to run the set, or even two sets, off a USB something or other. Now, everybody has a 5 volt USB charger for their phone or for numerous electronic devices. But the problem is, this is designed to run on 3 volts and you have 5 volts. And this is the answer. And it's basically three standard rectifier diodes in series. Now, these may look a bit cannibalized because that's exactly what they were. I found them on an old board and they're basically just the um, simple diodes with a one amp rating. And the reason they're so short is simply because I just chopped them out of the board. But if you don't have an old board like that laying about, if you go to your local parts shop these these pen these diodes are pennies and they can be virtually any diode at all silicon not germanium and they shouldn't be signal diodes they should be one of the in type type diodes now with three diodes in series if you look at the meter we are dropping 2.3 volts approximately that's because the diode will drop basically about 0.77 of a volt. It varies slightly from one diode to another, but by and large, that's what you'll get. Now, we've got five volts going in from my power supply. Here we have showing the voltage going in, and that is the current being drawn, and that is the wattage. So that whole set there is using less than half a watt of power. So you will be able to run this from any, literally any five volt source of, or USB source. Now, as we've got 2.3 volts drop across those diodes, we are actually under running them slightly by 0.3 of a volt. That will give you not that much difference in brilliance, but will use a lot less current because an LED doesn't give proportional amounts of light per current. In fact, at lower currents, they are amazingly efficient. This is the very simple circuit, USB cable coming in here with the red and black wires. The red wire goes into the diode here that's the identifying mark and they're literally in series that goes then to the switch and the positive from the switch goes to the positive of both sets of LEDs and the negative literally just goes straight to the negative or the return incidentally you could have done this with the resistors but you would need a quite a good stock then you need to calculate the value the brightness the idea of this is it's simple that anybody virtually can make it how's it made well this is the battery compartment and obviously where the double uh, a cells go it's got an on off switch on it 
and that's basically all. We should retain this on off switch. So first thing we need to do is put that to one side and we need a USB cable. What's on the other end is largely irrelevant. So what we need to do is cut that off. Some USB cables will have four wires inside, but majority of them simply have two and they're hopefully color coded the same as this in red and black. And the red one will be positive and the black one will be negative. So we need to strip the ends and tin them. That's the wires tinned. Now, something you will note, most of the cable, the actual wires they use, or the conductors in these cables are really low quality. Um, the wires are very thin and often some of the conductors, if not all of them, are aluminium, which is not good. In the good old days, they were made with copper and they took to solder beautifully. So you may have a little bit of difficulty in soldering, but you can generally do it. These were, these were such a cable. And when you're choosing your USB, find one, if you can, with fairly thick wire in it, because it, if you get them too thin, you'll get even more voltage drop. But bear in mind, we're only talking about a couple of feet of cable, so you can virtually ignore the voltage drop. The next thing we need to do is to pull out these connectors here and they shoot because we shan't need that. Just pull that out, throw it somewhere. I'm going to drill a hole in the back for the USB cable to go in and we'll tie a knot on it to hold it in place. Now, as I mentioned, this is going to have two wires or two sets of lights. I'm going to drill another small hole here so that I can access these terminals for the second set of lights. Now, because we want the switch to actually work, we need to solder onto this one for the positive coming in. So first of all, we need to cut this off. We don't need this. And then we can get rid of that. Don't need that. Here is our USB cable through the hole which I've just drilled. And I've put a knot in it here so that you won't be able to pull it out and pull all the connections in. This is the USB lead. The black wire has gone here to the negative terminal. And the red wire has gone to the diodes here. And you can see that it's the opposite end to the colored band. The other end of the diodes has gone to the switch, the positive of the switch. All we've got to do now is to put our second set of lights on there. And I should have pointed out earlier that before you stripped it from its box, you should have identified the positive lead. I've just put some marker on there. So we've now got to connect these literally in parallel with the other set and we should be in business. Well, hopefully this is what you'll end up with. The box with the cover on, the USB lead coming in here and the original set of cables coming out of where they always did come out, which is here, I think. I can't remember which one I drilled now. But one of these is the new set and one is the old set. I've plugged it into this USB power bank and we just flow the switch now. As you can see, this is what the lights look like in use. And I've literally just draped those across the table there. And it's going to be used as a background light for watching TV.